Hey guys, what's up? It's Solo. Today we are uh, looking at the Season 1 Invasion trailer. I didn't know that this was coming out or uh, came out until I was looking at Twitter and saw that it was just everywhere. So it's a minute and 51 seconds. If you guys don't know, the Season 1 Invasion comes out at the 29th of August. Or at least it should be coming out at the end of the month at least. So, yeah, let, without further ado, I'm pretty excited for this. Seems pretty cool that they're doing at least a little bit of a season uh, reveal. We are going to turn it down a little bit because it is a little bit loud. But, yeah, uh, without further ado, let's get to it. I'm just going to point this out right here. The first thing that they show is ass. Like... That's the very first thing, and I think that's Valby, by the way. Or no, it might be the new girl, actually, now that I think about it. Anyway. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the main villain, Keegan? I, I, I can't remember his name, to be honest with you, uh, but this is the guy that was, like, chasing after all three of the Ironhearts. So, yeah. Okay, okay. So, these guys are new. At least they look new. I don't think I've seen these guys yet. Oh, oh shit. Yep. Okay, so this chick right here is the new girl. I'm pretty... Or, or is it Valby? Is that Valby or is it the new girl? That might be Valby. Okay, this is definitely the new girl. By the way, so the ancient technology, before we go any further, like this stuff, this looks interesting. This looks a little bit more like they're giving us more things to not only do in like boss fights, boss fights, but also in just regular objectives. This is a thing that Suicide Squad never did because it just can't kept giving you the same thing over and over. So yeah, let's keep going. Oh, it's not a sniper rifle. It looks more like a beam rifle. Okay, so this is her. So it's kind of like a either a beam shot or like a um how oh, was the term for it? Rail guns. It's like a rail gun. Oh, we're getting Freyna's story. Oh my god, we're getting... No way, we are... So, this confirms we're getting Ultimate Freyna. Which I literally said would probably be one of the two that I'd want to see. So we're getting Ultimate Freyna as the ultimate descendant for the update. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's a new Colossi. Oh, 
Okay, so yeah, this is the new girl. Um, I'm not sure who she is. Uh, I don't know if they've revealed her name yet. So this looks a little bit more... Look at this. It's kind of like a bit more like glitched and digitized of like a skill set. Okay, so yeah, this, uh, this right here, she's a new, here, let me, oh, I, I meant to go back, like, only a little bit. So she's a new Colossi. Sorry, I'm trying to, yeah, this. So she's a new Colossi. I'm guessing it, because we just got Gluttony. I wonder if this is, like, death. Right. That's what comes to my mind when we see this. Um, yeah, this is all of, like a season about nightmares. Fits really well about Freyna. Because if you guys don't know anything about her lore, a lot of her stuff started with like people dying around her because of a disease. And now we're kind of seeing more of that. And it looks like... This is really cool for the simple fact of it looks like they're going back to older descendants and actually giving us what, like, Bunny got with her mission. So, like, in this, like, little transition phase here, right, we see, like, the toxin stuff going all over and then, like, her gasping here. But then it will cut, um, right, she's doing more stuff here. And then it cuts to this scene, right? And then the last thing we see for this part of the trailer. By the way, you guys are probably hearing this. That's just me clicking. But then we go to this. Now if you notice something here. This is, I'm pretty sure, still Freyna. Yeah, this is still Freyna. But. This is ultimate Freyna. The way I can tell is because there's a certain design that they do with ultimates. Well, besides, you know, being a little bit provocative. Um, they always have this, like, mechanical, like, exosuit type feel to them. And the reason why we also know that this is Freyna is also this scene right here. This is her back in the new suit. These are like, this is all like the condenser for the toxin she has. And as you can see, it like activates here. Right. Now she has longer hair too. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, we're getting Ultimate Freyna, uh, which is neat. And I'm glad we're getting, again, story for the older characters. Not just, oh hey, here's a new character. They get the new story beats. It's also Freyna's getting it, which is cool. Um, this seems like a new mechanic, I'm guessing, for bosses. So I'm not sure if it's going to just be a repeat of orbs, but it doesn't look like it just based off what we've seen. A lot of it looks like it's based off like the combination stuff here that you see them doing throughout these with like symbols here. Yeah, that you have to stand on and then there's like symbols here. And then, let's see. So the main villain is going to be this guy. This is who we're fighting during uh, Season 1, at least. And I'm guessing he's the one who's probably going to conjure up or like bring the uh, this Colossi here. And... Honestly, I think that's about all we can really gather, like, from this, uh, is that. 
Like, we're going to have, of course, some new mechanics. I mean, this definitely looks like a new boss mechanic with the, like, s things floating in a circle. I wonder if there's, like, a certain order that they have to, like, be shot at or something. Um, these are your normal enemies. We got the, um, we got, where is it? This, where we got some new enemies or at least some new looking enemies. And it's interesting that they chose Luna, Galay, uh, Izumo, uh, Izumo, and then Kyle for this, like, squad. Because I'm surprised Freyna's not in there since she also has part of the story. But that might just be a separate story, though. And then we're getting more. Yeah, so that's going to be it for that um i'm coming to get ya shut up sorry all right um i want to look something up real quick because more than likely there's probably some stuff on the first descendant twitter So let me take a look. So, okay, so it is a sniper, just more like a railgun looking thing. Um, her name. So we do have a name for her. So the new girl's name is Haley. Honestly, this trailer was sick. So, to give my overall opinion, and sorry about that little thing. I don't know why uh, I was watching a Markiplier video and it decided to play for a second. So, I guess enjoy that for the second that's in there. Um, so, yeah, the interesting thing about all of this is... It doesn't seem like the first descendant is necessarily slowing down at all. Uh, you figure what it came out in July. It had its like very first like big update, which was at the end of July, and now we're almost at the end of August, and here we are with its next big update already being you know announced. So yeah, it's. It's interesting. It's very interesting, to say the least. But anyway, guys, I think that's going to do it for me. If you guys did like the video, hit the like button. Comment down below. What do you think the mechanic with this is going to be like? Because it seems very interesting how it works. And I'm guessing it's going to have some sort of charge mechanic. Uh, if I had to just put it, anything in it. And what do you guys think ultimate freyna is going to be like ultimate freyna i hope is going to perform a lot better than normal freyna but we'll have to see i'm hoping they'll have a lot of updates alongside it as well anyway guys sorry about this one being so late uh i just barely caught this and i didn't see it earlier or else i would have made a video about it but yeah if you guys liked the video again hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe turn on post notifications so you never miss a video and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye